So it's from an unknown number. Your account will be blocked today again, which signals urgency. No bank can randomly suspend your account for not doing something. In just three days, 40 customers of a bank in Mumbai lost lakhs of rupees. All because they clicked on an SMS link that they got to update their KYC and PAN details. These messages have become rampant now. Several people have been getting urgent messages asking them to update confidential details as soon as possible, or else their bank accounts or net banking services will be suspended. So in this video, we tell you how to spot banking scams and how to recognize whether these messages are actually coming from your bank or is it just scamsters waiting to loot your hard earned money? Number one, no bank can abruptly suspend your account. No bank can randomly suspend your account for not doing something. There is a due process that is followed and as consumers you have rights to uh, ensure that this due process is followed. And because I'd been in the kind of finance and account sector for a while, I am well aware of the fact that banks can't randomly suspend your account, right? So the fact that there was this very severe action that was threatened itself was the first tell for me. Number two, the message or the call will come from an unknown number. Now the TRAI has basically given banks very specific abbreviations to use when they send their customers messages. So if you're an HDFC bank customer, for example, you'd be used to receiving messages from a sender that would say AX HDFC Bank or VK HDFC Bank or whatever, right? But HDFC Bank would be in the name of the sender. You'd never receive it from an unknown number. So the fact that it was from an unknown number, the fact that it threatened some grave action. Number three, poor grammar. It, it said, um, let me read uh, the message. Yeah, yeah, your account blocked today. Please update PAN card. Yeah, so it's from an unknown number. Please update your PAN card for KYC, verify your account, log in net banking. This is your poor grammar in the sense that there's no punctuation. Uh, but again, I think all of us scan through these things because we're in such a hurry today. Um, and the moment someone says it's going to be blocked, you want to act on it, right? So, and if you look at the link, it says bit, bitly, right? bit.ly.ws. Um, it's not an HDFC bank link and a bank will never send you links. Here's the other thing, banks don't send you links. Some people are also getting this as a phone call where people call them and say your KYC is like expired, like give it to me now, open open this link that I'm sending you right now and do XYZ steps, which is another form of this scam. Will you ever recover your money? This would require a cyber crime complaint, uh, which will have to be filed with your bank, who will probably take it up with a banking ombudsman or something. But I will say that having known people who've gone through this, it's a very long, very painful process because of how quickly these scammers move and how quickly the funds are taken out of your account. The chances of recovery are very slim. Um, although it is there, you still can file a complaint and you can take it up with your bank, but it will be a very long and very painful process. So I would definitely say this is a classic case of prevention being better than cure.